before Halloween, and Henry was working with Edward. The big green engine was taking a goods train to the other end of the line. Whenever that owl hoots, a mist rolls in. It's great for sneaking up on the tank engines, if you know what I mean. Ew. Oh, and uh, according to legend, when there's a mist about, there's supposedly a ghost about too. Take care tonight, Henry! Wait, what? Did he say ghost? <laughs> oh, look, Henry spooked. <laughs> Be quiet. I'm not scared. I'm gonna have fun with this one. Owls, mists, ghosts. Edward's going crazy in his old age. There's no mist. But Henry was wrong. Before long, he could barely see an inch in front of his buffers. Suddenly, he came to a signal at danger. It had a sign nailed to it. Beware of the Slender Engine. Huh? The Slender Engine? <laughs> what a whim. Huh? Who's there? you young whippersnappers. It's time someone taught you about the rules of Halloween, lest you get into trouble this coming Halloween night. Pfft. Rules? Sounds lame. You impertinent scallywag. Have you no respect? Halloween is no joke, and it's certainly not the festive holiday it's made out to be. What do you mean? Halloween is the time of the year when the barrier between the living and the dead is at its thinnest. A time when the dead and all manner of evil creatures can freely roam the earth. Boring. Quiet, you. And so, to keep safe, there are some rules that must be followed. Rule number one, wear a costume. Rule number two, Hand out candy. And rule number three, never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Uh-huh. Sounds legit. Heed my warning, young'uns, for there is an engine with paint that's pumpkin orange and with a face hidden behind a mask who roams the railway on Halloween night, making sure that the rules are enforced one way or another. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Thomas. 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 Hey, where's Henry? Yeah, wasn't he supposed to be back by this morning? Oh, he was probably too lazy to puff back from Vickerstown last night. Either that or someone warned him about Stephen. Anyway, I'm going there now with the express. I'm sure I'll see him on the way.
soon Gordon was puffing along the main line with the express. He was barely halfway to Vickerstown when he saw some derailed trucks up ahead. Gordon slowed to a stop. Hello, what do we have here? It was Henry's train, but Henry was nowhere to be seen. How strange. Trucks, what happened here? The trucks did not reply. They all had eerily blank expressions on their faces, all except for Scruffy, who didn't seem to know where he was or how he'd gotten there. Uh, I don't remember coming here. That evening, Gordon was at Vickerstown Station getting ready to take the Evening Express back to Knapford. Stanley was arranging his coaches. I heard you found Henry's train today, but he wasn't there. Yes, it was most strange indeed. What's more strange is that Henry wasn't the only one to go missing last night. What? I saw Mavis earlier looking for Bill and Ben. Apparently, they disappeared in the middle of the night. That's disturbing. Indeed. All things considered, you had better be careful tonight. Oh please, Stanley. I'll be more than fine. But secretly, Gordon was a little worried. See? Nothing to worry about here. I'm totally 100% This sure is going to be a great Halloween party. If there's anyone left to come to it, that is. Well, I've asked around. No one's seen Gordon, but they did find his coaches stranded in the middle of the main line. The passengers don't remember anything. Oh no, not Gordon too. Additionally, Dennis, Molly, Billy, and Neville have all disappeared as well. Yeah, but nobody cares about them. They're only one-off merchandising characters anyway. No offense. Anyway, that makes six engines who have disappeared off the face of the island in just two days. I think we ought to be concerned by this point. Eh, I would be, but I'm the title character, so I'm pretty much invulnerable. Well, that's great and all, but what about the rest of us? I don't know. Get your own TV shows? Maybe we should speak to Steven about this. He seemed to know what he was talking about the other night. Oh please, that old crackpot. Look, I'm sure it's no big deal and there's a perfectly rational explanation for all of this. That being said, I wouldn't be out at night if I were you. But I have to take the mail train tonight! Oh, well, uh, in that case, nice knowing you, buddy. Gosh darn it. What was that? It's okay, Percy. Pull yourself together. You faced off against the Slender Engine and a demon. What could possibly be worse than those? Still, let's make this quick. Gotta hurry. Gotta deliver the mail and get back to the sheds before I disappear too. A demon slender engine! Ah! Help! The slender engine is after me again! Ah! Is he gone? Ta 
Thomas! Thomas, wake up! Uh, what? What's going on? I know what happened to Henry, Gordon, and the others! What? Wait, where's James? Huh? Oh, uh, didn't he take the flying kipper last night? Oh no, he's got James too! Who's got James? No time to explain. We need to find all the other remaining engines on the island and make sure that they're going to the Halloween party tonight at Knapford. Tell them to get there before it gets dark. And make sure they're wearing a costume like Stephen said. Wait, what? Nighttime is ages away. You've got plenty of time to explain now. Percy! Uh, hmm. What to dress up as? Costumes, check. Candy, check. Jack-o'-lanterns, check. Okay guys, quiet down. You all know why we're here. To party? No! We're here because over the past few nights, engines have been disappearing left, right and center. I couldn't find Donald or Douglas this morning. And I think Bert's gone too. Rosie is missing also. And I think Voco and Diesel are gone as well. Murdoch and Spencer are also confirmed missing. So that's like half of all the mainline engines on Sodor. Oh, and uh, I don't know where Edward is. Oh no, not Edward too. He's the only one who knows how to deal with all this kind of stuff. It's okay, I'm fine. I was just sorting out my costume. Oh, thank goodness. Well... As I was saying, I know who's behind all of these disappearances. He chased me across the island last night. He's called the Slender Engine. The Slender Engine? Percy, you know that's just a railway legend I told you to tease you a few Halloweens back. No, he's real! I faced him once before in Henry's Forest whilst looking for some trucks. It was a few Halloweens ago, right after you first told me about him. Percy's right. The Slender Engine is much more than just a railway legend. I too have met him. I had plans for him, but he got away. Well, now he's back. But this time, he's got glowing red eyes. Like Duck when he was possessed. I was possessed? Oh dear. What? Well, it's possible that the Slender Engine could have found that truck that we put the demon into and absorbed its power. If that's the case, he's more powerful than ever now, and, uh, well, we're all doomed. Not quite. So long as we stay within the range of these jack-o'-lanterns, we'll be safe. Ugh, not this crap again. What are you talking about? Hey, that's right. The Slender Engine couldn't get to me when I was back at Knapford with the jack-o'-lanterns. That's why rule number one is never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Thomas, are we gonna die? You may be, I'll be fine. Oh no, the others. Looks like it's just Tomica Thomas now. 
The friends are all but gone. Must be the engine Steven was talking about. But why did he attack the slender engine? Well, he did blow out a lot of Jacko lanterns. That's true. Weren't we supposed to be wearing costumes though? <gasps> I'm Thomas the Tank Engine. To watch more videos now, click the green truck. To watch more videos in the future, click the red truck to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ooh.